Sarah, congratulations, first win. Thank you. It was pretty good. Yeah. Was when you going for Perth? Yeah. Someone told me going yeah. for Perth. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. Where's your purple jersey? Well, I'm working today. Yeah. Uh, let's try that. Sarah, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. No, it feels excellent to win, get our first win. It's been um, a little bit tense at training, and it's always like that when you're still searching for your first win. So it's good to get it out of the way now. And now we can just chill out on the nerves and um, just play. It seemed like you started better this week. Uh, the passes were crisper. It looked a bit more chemistry and a bit more flow going forward. There was. I think last week um, against Sydney, it was just... Uh, I, don't, I don't feel like we had that urgency to win, uh, win first balls, uh, win the 50-50 tackles and, and from that Sydney FC were winning it and then they were able to play with it. We couldn't even get the ball at times so I think today we had a, I guess it was just a mental change where um, we started in the warm up where it was just everybody was switched on and everybody was desperate for this win so I think um, we need to take that into next week and I guess not rest on that and um, truly scored two nice goals, it was excellent. And that tempo also, that's probably what you need to get up to and it must be a, bit, a little bit tough for the girls who have spent a couple of years out of the W League to rise there quickly. Definitely, it's just it's small things like uh, in the warm up, you know, walking from station to station and, and kind of just having that slow tempo to picking it up because it needs to be picked up to be able to, you know, that, that stuff kind of rolls into the game, you know, you're walking over to get get the ball for a throw and everything's just so, such at a slow pace and I think they're kind of getting the balance of actually playing at speed without playing uh, you know panic football so just upping the tempo but not at the right time so yeah I think we're trying to still find that balance with a lot of the girls. It's also more, probably a little bit more significant with you losing a couple of strikers. Um, Jenna's unfortunately gone for the season and Catherine wasn't available for time. Yeah it's really disappointing. Um, Canoli should be fine for coming weeks. Um, also something exciting for us, we're getting our, um, our midfielder, our Swedish midfielder next week. Is that already come? Okay, you ready? Okay. Yeah, I don't know if Steve's over there. But um, no, that'll be very exciting for us. So, um, you know, a little bit more depth there. And uh, yeah, obviously it's, it's pretty sad about Jenna. Um, but, you know, Rachel stepped in today and she was good. And Tegan, you know, she can play in a lot of different positions. Finally, as captain, how is it different in, in leading the team to being another player? I don't know, I think it might be a little bit different in the fact that, I don't know, there's a sense of, um, I feel proud today. And I don't know if I've ever really felt like that. Um, you know, I've always been proud of my team when we win, but I feel like it's more of a, you know, I felt I had to go out and tell the girls, hey, we play a brilliant game today, and hey, this is what level we need to play at each week. So, no, I think maybe that's it, I guess, my approach to, you know, trying to pick up the girls that I can see that need it. So. Congratulations once again. Thank you. <laughs>